How are you? I have missed seeing your pretty little face around here. So you've got a Christmas party in the hills tonight at 9, right? Perfect. I did go a little crazy with the shopping this time. I just saw so many things. I was dying to see you in. Hopefully you'll be impressed before we get started. Can I grab you anything to drink? Cider, wine, I know you're into a sip of tea. Okay, just let me know. Grab you anything. We aren't going to be going in any particularly sensical order. Just going to go with the flow, have some fun. First, I am so eager to show you these sick shoes. Pirate-y, right? Pirates are so hot right now. Well, I mean, they've been hot since like the 1700s, but they have continued to be hot from then until now. There's something just kind of seductive about scurvy, you know? Like, oh my god, you seen a vegetable since last summer and you have how many teeth left? Four? That's gonna make me look like such a baddie standing next to you. Also, it's honestly a little spicy when you never know if or when someone's gonna steal from you. It's always a fun little surprise like, ooh, what's it gonna be this time? And if they can snatch you noticing like oh my god the dexterity the agility the tiptoeing prowess it's all there what more could you want like my ex stole from me all the time it was always kind of sexy and mysterious until the time she took my entire refrigerator and never called me back all my frozen fruit was still in there Sometimes I see her at Pilates and I'm like, wow, that scrumptious smoothie you're holding came at the small price of my heart. <laughs> but glad you're enjoying the strawberry banana swirl, Brittany. Hope your blender sucks and you choke on a chunk of unpulverized peanut butter. Totally thought I was over that. Sorry. I do get pretty passionate when it comes to smoothies. So what do you think of the shoes? This like burgundy shade, as I've said to you too many times, but I'll say it a lot more, looks gorgeous on you. Mm -hmm. So obviously I've got a lot more things to show you. We could base an outfit around this, but we have a lot more inspirational pieces to come. So don't get too attached just yet. I'm setting those to the side for now and we'll see what strikes your fancy. I carefully curated a vast selection of glittery stuff because I heard you're single, right? Perfect. Glittery stuff is excellent matchmaking material. Mm -hmm. I'll let you in on a little hot tip. 
when you're having a chat with someone cute, you can just casually brush your clutch against them. It's really easy to be subtle just as you're having a giggle. <laughs> oh no, your clutch just graces their shoulder. So when they get home, the glitter transfers all over their stuff on their sheets, their clothes, their face, their dog. They'll notice it constantly and due to the subconscious association between you and the glitter, they won't be able to stop thinking about you. They'll think you're soulmates, you're just so unforgettable, but really it's just because you gave them glitter herpes. I swear, you'll get a text before you know it. Works every time. Three out of ten times, which is like almost most of the time. So, like, what do you think about this clutch? It's one of those ones that has a lot of room, like surface area wise, and not so much depth wise. So, what kind of stuff do you think you might be carrying with you tonight? Because if it's just like a couple of makeup. jewelry selections in here if you're ready to start taking a gander at some bling for sure okay. so I was thinking that tonight might be a great time to like step a little bit out of your comfort zone because I know that you often As always, it's totally up to you. My job is just to make you feel as happy and comfortable as possible. But I think it'd be fun to have a look at some more extreme pieces like this chunky statement. How dragons hoard gold and jewels and pearls, probably all the shiny stuff. Hmm. Wait, they don't eat their treasure, do they? They just sit on it and sleep until some adventurer comes along who is tragically terrible at tiptoeing and wakes them up for an afternoon snack. If I had an entire castle or cave or dungeon or whatever filled to the brim with all my shiny stuff and I had dragon teeth and dragon jaws you best believe I would be munching on that stuff all day every day who would want to eat a whole entire man when you can just eat pearls that's classy blood all over your scales, bone shards in your teeth, gross. That's tacky. Pearls? High class. Mm. So what do you think of the dragon vomit necklace? Not really into it. Okay, yeah, that's fair, that's fair. I can show you some other stuff, totally. Hmm. These next earrings are the worst. I hate them so much. But if you wanted to go for that kind of like ugly Christmas sweater vibe, like I am so hot that I can wear whatever I want and you all can suck it, these are perfect. 
Yeah, they're kind of like hoops, but they're plastic and made out of red glitter. Mm-hmm. So I'll totally show you some more jewelry later. But for now, I kind of want to bounce over to clothes for a minute, if that's cool with you. Okay, perfect. We've got this oversized fuzzy green sweater. This would look so chic with some tight, shiny black pants and some black heels or boots. Lately, I've been so down with this Oscar the Grouch but chic kind of vibe, you know? The perfect combo of I'm so grungy that I totally live in a trash can, but I'm also so soft and fuzzy. Oh my god, hold me. Let's cuddle in the dumpster. I'll bring the Febreze. It'll be so cute, I promise. So next, I've got this little pouch. Uh, you can either carry this on its own or you can stick it into a bigger bag. Uh, due to your burrito plans, this isn't gonna cut it, but it would be nice to put into your larger bag to carry, you know, like a mirror or some lipstick. As you can see, comprised of lovely golden sequins, but conveniently, we can quickly transfer to entirely silver, if that's better suited to your outfit, or you can just kind of fiddle with it as a form of absent-minded entertainment if some business major won't stop at you about murders and assassinations. Uh, murders and acquisitions. Yeah, murders and assassinations. I would be all ears. Are you kidding me? Like, let's get out of here yesterday, right? Right? No. Oh. Suit yourself. <laughs> Next, I would love to show you this is stunning red skirt. It goes down to about mid calf. So, do you have any sort of distinct feelings about this accordion skirt? It's a perhaps. Fair enough. I'll set that beauty aside for now. And you know what? I have another little party tip to share with you. At any party, obviously, you want to scope out who all is there, who you might want to talk to next, but it looks rude and honestly kind of desperate to stare. People can tell when you're scanning the room and it looks kind of social ladder climbing I mean, that is precisely what you're doing, but you never want to look like it. So, while you're having your nice little chat with someone, just pretend to be innocently touching up your lipstick, but actually, check out who's behind you in the reflection. See who you want to snatch up next once Mm-hmm. I'll peek on the right. I'll peek on the left. Down below, up above, you never know. You know, there's plenty of stylists in LA who will do your hair cute, do your makeup cute, do your outfit cute. But how many stylists can say that they can transform their clients into partying professionals? I'd say just one. Super cute. Red earrings. They're gems in the shape of little bows. Yeah. I'd like to just hold these up to your ears if you don't mind. Okay, perfect. So I'm just going to place this just up there, just by your left ear. Have a look at the looks with your hair. You just get to know your eyes and everything. Looks very good to me. 
think those are a great option if you like how they look yeah okay good set those aside for now another pair if you'd like to go for something a bit more dramatic that you are guaranteed to get compliments on but they're actually remarkably lightweight super comfortable to wear all night long and as you're moving about they do make a very subtle and pleasant sound do you mind if I have a look at these beside your face? perfect to hear it. Um, one last option for the earrings, if you would like to go for something a bit more subtle, we do have freshwater pearls accented by a diamond each in this magic earring and necklace set, but I do tend to prefer gold on you over silver. accessory options. These barrettes have been so trendy lately. You can wear just one or two if you want to go for that sleek kind of pin down hair look. You can just smooth it down, slide that barrette in, clip it down like that, and then on the other side as well. It's a very chic, fashion-forward, runway kind of look. It's not for everyone. A lot of girls like to have as much volume as possible around their face to narrow down the face shape. But you, I think, would be a pair of gloves. It's not quite cold enough to require them, but honestly, I think that that just makes it all the more trendy and bold. You know, more of a statement. 
because clearly you're not wearing them for function, just for fashion. Mm -hmm. And these are a lovely shade on you, Bath Burgundy. You know I'm always such a fan of with you. And these being a high quality pair of gloves naturally have the thumb, pointer, and middle fingertip featuring the choose from. First is a nice matte black leather embellished with pearls and gold and gunmetal studs. This would be such a nice touch if you are going to go with any pearl, jewelry, or hair accessories. Mm -hmm. And then the other option, a little bit edgier, we have a faux snake skin. And these nice muted tones of tan, brown. Beautifully textured. Very glamorous option would be this faux fur shrug. Keep you nice and warm and just has such a look of like widow who murdered her husband at his funeral, loudly, vaguely weeping. Mm -hmm. Let's see, would you mind if I had a peek? You can go crazy with the accessories, you know? You don't have to hold back. It's a clean slate. I think that that black dress would go so beautifully with this 
fuzzy red purse. You have to feel this. It is unreal. Right? over one shoulder, cross body, on your hip, lower, higher, whatever you like. So, those are all the articles of clothing, jewelry, and accessories I have to show you. Are you interested in any of these for an outfit for tonight? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that for the clothing, and then for a purse, perfect, jewelry, mm -hmm. I was hoping you'd say that, you know I did forget to show you one option for the shoes, if you're still undecided I could give you one last choice, cool, just the most incredible red shade, it really doesn't get brighter Nice, smooth beige sole. Squishy, soft. Nice, snug fit around the heel and the toe tips. And a reasonably sturdy grip on the sole. And these So those are totally an option if you like. Just a couple of final things before you go ahead and get changed. I did get you a Christmas card because you have been a client of mine for a little while now. I just wanted to show you that I value you not only as my client, but as my friend. So I got you this cute little glittery Christmas tree the gold star on the top, right, and happy wishes for a very merry Christmas with this fox and a Santa hat, a mouse with some mistletoe, a squirrel with an acorn, an owl in a scarf, and a birdie. And the thing that's so cool about this card is it's actually three-dimensional. You can just pull it open like that, and it sits up on its own. You can perch it on like your counter, your desk, your dashboard, or something. I don't know, whatever you want. So, I hope you like it. And then just before you get changed, I noticed that the highlighter on your cheek. Okay, thank you. I just, you know, I cannot let you leave here without looking at your very best. So my go-to for the very best glow is, of course, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit Dream. So let me see if we can do which beautiful magic pale sunshine. trusting me with your holiday look. I really hope 
that you enjoyed my selections and I'm already so excited to style you for your next event. Happy holidays, Barry. See you next time.